Hi guys, it's Tiffany. Welcome back to my channel. So today is Weekly Stash Sunday. If you guys don't know what that is, this is my first series that I've started on my YouTube channel. Basically, every Sunday I look through my stash and pick out a full face of products to use for the week. The purpose of this series is to just get me to rotate through my makeup and get really good use out of these products. If you want to see my last week's stash, I will link the video down in my description box so you can check that out. And with that being said, let's just go ahead and get started. Okay guys, it is time to pick out new products. So just going right in with the primers. Um, I am going to pick out this L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. I have been wearing this under my foundation and I just think it looks so nice. So I'm gonna grab this. For eye stuff, um, as you guys can tell, my organization is a little different because these clear bins, I just couldn't do it anymore with them because they didn't fit perfectly into my drawers and so I was like wasting a lot of space. So I just went to the dollar store and bought these cheap white bins that are actually really great and like bendy um, and they fit in my drawers perfectly so I'm really happy with this. Anyways, picking out a mascara, I think I'm going to pick out this Tarte Lights Camera Lashes because I really like how this makes my lashes look. And this is like one of the only few mascaras that don't smudge underneath my eyes. For eyebrow gel, I think I am going to grab my ColourPop brow boss gel in the shade dark brown and then i'm just gonna grab my nyx lift and snatch eyebrow pen so now all my lip products are up here instead of way down there um so i'm just gonna go ahead and choose my lip products i want to grab my new kaja gloss shot lip gloss and i'm gonna grab the clear one and then i have not used my nyx butter glosses in a while so i'm gonna grab this one in the shade madeline i love this one so here are all my lipsticks and liquid lipsticks and other stuff i th think i'm gonna grab my ColourPop just a tint in the shade give me s'more this is just really good for like my natural days and this smells so good and then i always just really like a good pop of color so i think i'm gonna grab my m cosmetics infinite lip cloud in the shade evening primrose so this is just a really pretty berry color now for cream blushes i think i want to grab this one this stila one lilium this is just like a gorgeous like rosy nude i like these i just hate the packaging like it's so cheap for a 25 dollars blush like they really couldn't have done better besides this cheap plastic no i don't really feel like using this one <laughs> i think i'm gonna grab my rare beauty one this one in the shade nearly mauve so now here are all of my concealers and foundations and cushion foundations see it's just like so much more organized i can see everything better and so I just am really grateful that I found these little containers. But anyways, I am going to grab this Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer that I found at TJ Maxx. And I really like it, so we'll grab this. For concealer, I picked up this new Milani Supercharged Under Eye Brightening Tint. This is really natural and really nice, so I think I'm going to grab this. Now here are all of my bronzers, highlighters, and powder blushes. I think I want to grab a powder blush just because I never use my powder blushes and so I want to get some use out of them. I think I'm going to grab this Burt's Bees blush. Um, Kathleen Light raves about these and so I picked one up and this is a really pretty color so I'm going to grab this. As for bronzer, I think I'm going to grab my NARS one in the shade Laguna. And then for highlight, I have been loving my Too Faced Prismic highlighter in the shade Ray of Light. Now for eyeshadows, I think I'm going to grab my Too Faced Natural Mattes palette. This just has a lot of neutral browns and pinks, and so that's kind of what I've just been wearing lately, so I think this is perfect. And then I think I'm also going to grab this ColourPop Super Shock eyeshadow in the shade Basic Instinct. It's just like a really pretty brown foil shimmer. So these are all the products 
I have picked out for the week. Let's just go ahead and organize these into my little bin. So this is just already what I have in my bin. I have decided I wanted to keep my Benefit Foolproof Brow Powder, um, this e.l.f. eyebrow pen because I really like the spoolie, my Glossier Stretch Concealer just because it's like my holy grail, and then I recently picked up this new Smith's Rosebud Salve Balm um, because my Glossier ones just weren't doing it anymore. So I'm testing this out right now, and so far I like it. Okay, so here is our stash for the week, and let's go ahead and do our makeup. Alright, so just first going in with my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Lotion. I used to actually be really scared of products like these, where it was just lotion that was just all shimmer. The thought of putting it all over my face scared me, because I just didn't want to look like so metallic-y. And I thought it would be very opaque on my skin. It just literally leaves you with such a beautiful luminous glow. And it really just only happens in the high points of when like the sun hits your face. I was watching Jamie Page talk about really good primers. And if you like glowy, dewy skin, she recommended this. And to put it under your foundation or even mix it with your foundation. And the finish of her skin just looked so amazing. I tested it out and it was life-changing. I will probably never go back to not using this lotion. I am in the shade 902 Light Glow, so they have different shades of this depending on your skin tone. Next, I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. This is in the shade Nude. So, like I was saying, I was watching Jamie Page, and she was talking about the best hydrating foundations and concealers for dry skin, and she mentioned the Laura Mercier um, tinted moisturizer and guys I kid you not I went to Sephora went to go add it into my cart but saw that it was like 47 bucks so I was like hmm I don't know and then I went to TJ Maxx the same day and this popped up and it was in my shade and this was like one of the two that was there it was literally like the makeup heavens like answering my prayers and gifted this to me at TJ Maxx for only $14.99. So yeah, this is just a tinted moisturizer um, and it has SPF 20 in it. As you guys can see, it is a beautiful tinted moisturizer and the Glotion is still very glowy. Just going in with my Rare Beauty Cream Blush in the shade Nearly Mauve. I'm just gonna take my favorite brush ever, the Ultimate Blending Brush by e.l.f. and just put this on my face. This brush just blends out the blush so seamlessly and spreads the product like perfectly rather than using your fingers. I used to only use my fingers, but after I started using this brush, it's just been such like a game changer. All right, blush is on and it looks so good. Now I'm gonna go in with my NARS bronzer in the shade Laguna. I'm also just gonna use this to contour my nose as well. Now going in with my Too Faced Prismic Highlighter in the shade Ray of Light. It's just like the prettiest rose gold highlighter and lately i have just been loving i have been preferring powder highlighters over like cream ones and i don't know why i think it's just because the powder highlighters it's easier to control and they're not so blinding they're very sheer and i like that especially these ones i remember when these first came out and i just was like not interested in them at all because back then i preferred my highlight to be blinding um but now i like my highlight to be very subtle and so this is just perfect for that so yeah that's why i really like them and this color is just so perfect on my skin tone now for eyebrows i'm just gonna go with my color pop brow boss gel in the shade dark brown and i'm just gonna quickly tint my brows i'm not gonna do anything crazy with them today I kind of want them to be like very natural looking. So I totally forgot to um, conceal for some reason. I think I'm not used to really using foundation. So 
I'm just gonna go in with the new Milani Supercharged Brightening Under Eye Tint. And this is in the shade 120 Peach. So I think this is like a under eye cream tint, like something you put on before your concealer to kind of like get rid of like the dark circles. But I really like this just by itself because it's so creamy and hydrating while also so brightening without the heavy consistency of a concealer. So that is why I really like this. I totally forgot to apply a lip balm, so I'm just gonna quickly do that. I think the reason why I like this lip balm so much is because it is like very glossy and very lightweight and it actually hydrates. I think my Glossier ones are more for like protecting. All right, moving on to eyeshadow. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Natural Mattes palette. I have been loving just like a really smoky brown eye for winter time and this just has like everything I need in a palette. So it's also just so pretty. Like I love these colors. They're just totally me. Um, so I'm just gonna do my eyeshadow with this. It also just smells so good. I'm just gonna first go in with Lace Teddy and just put that all over my lid. My baby is crying with her dad in the living room right now. I really wanted to get a really good eyeshadow primer because I just really want my And so with my recent Sephora purchase, I decided to get the sample size of Urban Decay's um, Primer Potion. And then I got an email saying that they were out of stock. So I don't get a little sample with my purchase anymore, which sucks. Now I'm going to go in with Less Is More. And I'm going to put this just in like the crease. Now I'm going to go in with Hookup right here and just put that on my lid. Now I'm gonna mix Sexpert and Risky Biz and I'm gonna put that on like my lash line. Yeah, this palette is just really great for me to create like these smoky uh, brown eye looks that I love doing. So yeah, this is becoming like quickly a new staple in my go-to palette. So my Tartlet in Bloom better watch out. Now for mascara, I'm just going to go in with my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I love this mascara. It does such a good job at curling my lashes. I tend to smudge a lot, like right here, just from like laughing and smiling and this doesn't smudge as much as my other mascaras. All right guys, that was my weekly stash video. These are the products I'm going to be using for the rest of the week. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next Sunday for my new stash. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one.